Joining us now with reaction, former NYPD Detective Bo Deedle, Fox News senior correspondent Geraldo Rivera, Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark is with us. You know, this is now targeted assassinations. This is an ambush. This is lying in wait to kill America's police officers. What do we do to stop this, Sheriff? This has got to stop. Well, you know, I'm, I'm angry at this point. Uh, it's beyond comprehension anymore, and all of the words that we try to use uh, just don't cut it anymore. The bloodbath continues for the American law enforcement officer in the name of Black Lives Matter. And I listened to the president this afternoon, and he, and he does, uh, yeah, he does the, you know, what's required, right? You know, our condolences. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family. Well, here's, so, the thing. here's the thing he will and they not do. do. And this would go a long way, not right away. But I, I predicted this several years ago. If we kept up with this anti-police sentiment, it was going to turn into this. He will not condemn the anti-police sentiment. He condemned the violence. He has to condemn the violence. He will not condemn the anti-police sentiment. But when a terror attack happens, he gets out there and warns and condemns against Muslim uh, backlash for the terror attacks. He will not do that for the American well, police. Uh, Wilson, let's, let's... Her Geraldo, let me make a point to you. It'll take me a second. 3,470 plus people killed in Chicago, his home city, since he's been president. He's mentioned Chicago nine times over the eight years of his presidency. He rushes to judgment in Cambridge with Trayvon Martin. It could have been me 35 years ago. He could have been my son. Uh, Michael Brown, same issue. Look at what the facts, look at what black eyewitnesses exonerated Darren Wilson. N rushes to judgment, no facts, no due process, no assumption of innocence, but he's quiet about a much bigger problem in his own home city. Does that rhetoric of his, does this rushing to judgment, does it contribute to an atmosphere against police officers? I don't think that there's a person in this country that is as, as loves cops as much as I do. I, I, I've grown up with cops. I've been with Same cops. Same here. I, 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 I've been to too many cop funerals. The president has an extraordinarily difficult position that he may not have done as well as he could have in terms of balancing the real concerns of the black community and the real concerns of cops. But I would rather direct my wrath, if you give me 30 seconds, at Gavin Long, this 29-year-old uh, who said bloodshed is the only way to end oppression, and the first person he kills is a black cop with a four-month-old four baby. I mean, what? How does that further? It, it, it's a cop. The, the justice. How does that? Well, let me ask Sheriff Clark. The, Sheriff, uh, I think ridding that, us of oppression. I think when you rush to judgment and you don't allow due process for cops, and you have 3,470 3, dead people in Chicago in, in the same time period. You rush to judgment in Trayvon. You rush to judgment in 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 uh, Cambridge. You rush to judgment in Ferguson. Is his rhetoric contributing to an atmosphere that is now hostile to cops? That's my question. Undoubtedly, and I said that. I've, I've been saying that. Uh, look, Black Lives Matter is a uh, purve they're purveyors of hate. It is a hateful, violent ideology. It's not an organization. It is not a movement. It is an ideology that I said has to be wiped off the face of the earth. I said that about a year ago, and the liberal mainstream media went haywire about it. I remember but that. You know, they bear some responsibility, too. The New York Times, the Washington Post, the USA Today, and their editorial pages have not written one article about concern for this anti-police well, sentiment. It, just sleep last in the week, the McKesson guy from Black Lives Matter was at the White House. Hillary Clinton is seeking out their advice on criminal justice matters. Let's play them. This is what they have said and chanted, members of this group. You've heard it before. And then right after that, we'll go to President Obama praising the group, and he continues to keep inviting them to the White House. Let's play that. Peace in a blanket, fry like bacon. 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 What I am most encouraged by is the degree of focus and seriousness and constructiveness that exists uh, not only with existing civil rights organizations, but this new generation. Uh, they are some serious young people. I told them that they're much better organizers than I was when I was their age. Uh, and I'm confident that they're going to 
uh, take uh, America to new heights. So, Bo, there's the group chanting, and then they're invited to the White House. And not only did the president say that, he also compared Black Lives Matter to the women's suffrage movement and the abolitionist movement. You know, this, I'm like, is he serious? This whole weekend, all I've been doing is getting an argument. I was out in the Hamptons, and all the people are arguing. People, neighbors are coming to me and say, why are these cops against the blacks and all that? And as they try to explain what's going on here, that we have investigations going. All these shootings are being investigated. But when you want to tell me that every cop is a racist and that's all they want to do is kill black people, I mean, it's wrong. This president better get hold of this because this is only going to get worse with that thing that's happening in Cleveland. The convention and have people able to carry weapons around on the streets. They should go to the court, to the law tomorrow, to the legislature, and pass a law immediately so they don't. That could be a hey, volatile situation uh, now. Listen, Bo, there is nobody that is more pro Second Amendment than I am on this program. I have carried a weapon my yes. entire adult life. Ohio has an open carry law. Black Lives Matter. Uh, the new Black Panther Party. Be there with guns. They have said they are going to be carrying guns, Sheriff. What do we do? Well, I'll tell you what. Those are the people I fear most. I do not fear the law-abiding gun owner. Even Neither do I. Not at all. Situation. Wisconsin's an open carry. They're looking state. for a fight. Right. But until this president, Barack Obama, condemns in strong, unambiguous words the anti-police sentiment coming out of Black Lives Matter, until Loretta Lynch does it, until the main, liberal mainstream media condemns this vicious Geraldo ideology. Said, what, why are you disagreeing?